Everybody, this is an open house for March 30th, 2023 for the Be Your Own Boss Trading Room, BYOB. And I'm going to review with a couple of people here that are visiting with us. Uh, um, I'm going to review the quad lines. And let's just start off with the quad lines. I'm going to dr drag them out here. And I use the quad lines to measure who's in power. And when a stock retraces or a candle or uh, a daily candle or an hourly candle or uh, a trend retraces back over 51%, then I give it to the people that retraced it. I give them the balance of power. They have the power. So let's just take the quad lines and measure some retracements that we've seen. All right. And I'll take one, for instance, Ray. If I can find one that's pretty good. And if we zoom into that right there, we're going to go to a daily chart and we're going to zoom into that area right there. Okay, this is the S&P 500. This is the high and I measure the low. So I take the quad lines and I measure the retracement of what happened between the, the recent high and the recent low. So you can see here's price. Price comes all the way down and makes a low. And then from that low, it retraces all the way back to the 50% mark. Now it comes up to the 50% mark and then is sent packing back below. And the bulls, they're very stubborn sometimes. And that's why we call them bulls. And then they want to come back up again. They want to try it one more time to get back up to this high. And they got sent packing down again. So you can see I use this to determine. Right now, the bears have control as long as it stays underneath this 50% line. And that's so if it's under the 50% line, I want to be short. If it's over, that's when I want to go bullish. But now we have a trend that's just now started. And if you look at this, this is the infancy of this downtrend. Here's the downtrend before any of this even happened. Okay. We didn't know, we did not know that this was going to happen here. So here it comes, and then what happens? They make a lower low. Then what happens? They make the higher, the higher low. And what happens when they make the higher low? The pressure's on the bulls to produce A, the higher high. And what do they do? They succeed in producing uh, a higher high than what we had here. But is it a significant higher high? Because this is the last high. So now market law number four takes over. They didn't produce a significant higher high. So now market law four takes over. And now price now proceeds to make a lower low. And that's how I use the quad lines to determine who's in power. I use my laws along with the quad lines to determine who's in power, and which direction I want to trade. So we can use this in multiple different instances here. Here we're going to measure from this high to this low right here. Actually, let's drag it back right there. And you can see where price comes back. Comes this from here to here. Comes back to the midpoint. 
Notice how it's halted right there at the midpoint. But just like market four produces to fails to produce the higher high, it goes up and then the bears take over and they say, no, 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 you're going down. And this is where the price comes back down. So this, this quad line tool, this measures the 50% line, the midpoint, the half field, the midfield, the half court. You know, this tells me who's in control, who owns 51% of this stock, who's in control of it, bears or bulls. And that's what this quad line tool helps me to, to define. Let's go back in some of the most recent action. And we'll look at this right here. So now we're going to take the quad lines over here. Here's our October low, okay? And back in no December, we were watching this. And this rallied up. And then where did it pull back to and halt? Right at the 50% line. People were saying, oh, we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. And I kept pointing out, we're over the 50% line. We're not going down. The bulls are in control as long as we stay above the 50% line. And the bulls continue to hold that line for probably, I think it was, well, there's 1216 all the way to, well, about the first two days of the month of June for about two or three weeks there. They held the midpoint. You see that? They're holding the midpoint and they produce the J-hook. So this is how you know who's in control. This quad tool, and you can do the same thing with a fib. You can take this up. Start it all the way up here, and you can see over here to the right, you've got a 382, you got a 236, and you got a 50% line right there. It's hard to see, but you can take your own fib tool and measure from the October low up to the December high, and you'll see the same fib tool lines up with the quad line. And you'll see the 50% mark will show you what's going on here. And it'll show you if you're above the 50% mark, the bulls are still in control. If they break below, then I got to give it up to the bears. They fail to hold 51%. And that right there is the quad line tool that I use religiously. I use it intraday. I use it weekly. I use it monthly, daily, hourly, 15 minute, two minute, every, every, every time I'm always using this tool. I want to know who's in charge when I have to kill the trade. So this is, this is, Probably one of my most valuable tools besides the trend line for me. The trend line is the holy grail indicator. I love to buy the trend line. I, sometimes I buy the trend line blindly because I know either the trend line's going to hold or it's not. I can have a one candle stop with the trend line. Either this trend line works or it doesn't work. If it goes through, then I don't want the trade. I can have a one candle stop right there. I can have a, a one hour candle stop right there. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. For me, it's the best place to be is at the midpoint and on the trend lines. It's either going to work or it's not. 
And that's why I, I, I love trend lines. I think for me, they're the holy grail indicator. And I like I like the quad line tool. For me, it's another great indicator where I can get in at low risk and plunk down a, a good size position. It's either going to work or it's not. And that's why I love both of those, the trend line tool and the quad lines. And that right there is uh, a wrap up for the quad line tool. And uh, thank you for listening. I'm going to stop the recording.